to talk about Cedric? I will spill the beans, I swear to God. I will tell the world about what he did. Melissa Rivers is going to call you out for the fashion errors you continually make now that you're married with kids. Don't judge on you the past. You used to be so hot. No, I know. She's going to have my back on this one. What happens to the man when he gets married and he has the kids? Well, whose fault is that? It's not my fault. <laughs> well, I mean, you. I do the you, laundry. You the I one I marry. The, I match the socks. You somehow still put the wrong ones on. Look. The crew sock with the ankle one, like, and then the, and then the athletic slides. They're called Adilette, by the way. They're like, they're like athletic slippers. And they're very comfortable because they have support under the arc. So First of all, Adilette does nothing. Number two, this gesture, I have no idea what this is. It's the arc, the, the foot and then the arc. And number three, it's an arch. Arch, arch. How long have you been in this country? Look, arch, arch. It's, you know how early it is? Guten Morgen. is here. I'm on my best behavior today. But uh, um, you look beautiful, by the way, today. Thank you, sir. Very nice. You look very handsome. Doesn't you look beautiful? Yeah. Before we get into the show, I need to finish our conversation from the car. <laughs> you keep making fun of my, 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 my socks, my flip-flops, the combination of the socks and the flip-flops, and how I wear it and when I wear it. Um, can I just wear my flip-flops? Please. I mean, I, I take care of my family. I pay taxes. I'm a grown man. I, I go to work. I do things. And I can wear my flip-flops the way I want to wear my flip-flops, right? All right. All right. Yeah. And, also, and also, the original athletic flip-flop is called Here we go. Adilete. Because in, in it, what it, country? It, I, can I please? <laughs> can I please finish? Say it slowly so we can get, get it right. Okay. So we don't forget that. Adiletta. Adiletta. Can we say it with him? Adiletta. Adiletta. Because, because uh, it, it, it was started by Adidas. And it's called Adidas, people. It's not called Adidas. <laughs> it's called Adidas. So the Adiletta was the first athletic flip-flop made by Adidas way back, like before so, Columbus landed. What you, want, <laughs> what you want is permission to walk around the house in your no, Ad anywhere, Adi anywhere, anywhere, not just the house. And calling the fly sneakers Adidas. Hey, you want I, that clearance. You look, have that clearance. I want the clearance globally, okay? <laughs> if I want to go across the street to Four Daughters, get my breakfast <laughs> in my Adiletten, I want to do that. Yes, can I do that? Can do that, yes. Right. You feel better now? Thank you, I feel better. Okay, I appreciate good. it. You good? I'm good. Oh, good, okay. Heart racing a little bit, but I'm okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on to a couple of stories that people are talking about. Yes. First, Bill Cosby. Yes. yes. Well, earlier this year, he was accused of allegedly drugging and raping women over the years. Documents obtained from a 2005 deposition revealed that Mr. Cosby admitted to giving women quaaludes before having sex with them. And many people were divided over his guilt or innocence, and many of the alleged victims were vilified. Singer Jill Scott was one of the people who stood up for Mr. Cosby when the ac accusations first came out. But with this latest development, Jill posted this tweet. I stood by a man I respected and loved. I was wrong. It hurts. When you get it all right, holla. You know, I, I personally want uh, the victims to have their day, but I also want Mr. Cosby to find peace in his, in his heart and, and heal himself through all of this, because this is a, this is a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, here's another big story. South Carolina senators voted to remove the Confederate flag from the state house. <laughs> it's, well, it's, not done, yeah. it's not a done deal yet. 
The right. House still needs to vote on it next week. Well, the governor, the governor uh, uh, Nikki Haley, yep. um, she voted for it. And then we had the. She's a great name, by the way. The, <laughs> Nikki, the state senate <laughs> voted 37 to three, and now it's the House's turn. So yes. what do you uh, what do you feel about that? Well, it's about time. <laughs> you know, this is how I really feel. I feel like I don't like telling anybody what they can hang or not hang in their house, right? Well, that's the key to in their own house. Right. If my grandmother wants to put Jesus and Dr. King on the wall, right, <laughs> she needs the peace and privacy to do that. If, if some person wants to hang a Confederate flag on the back of his pickup truck, I can't stop him from doing that. But in this country, on a state capitol, we need to be all about inclusiveness mm -hmm. and bringing people together. It's, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, mean, I, I feel that, that the like state, the state government that represents all people yeah. should always condemn any form of public discrimination against one group, At whatever all. that might be. Yes. And, uh, you know, I personally like the girl Bree who climbed the pole. I was like, y'all taking too long. I want to meet her. <laughs> no. I want to meet her. She was like, y'all taking too long. Let me get my, <laughs> you know, and if Bree wouldn't have done it, you know, I would have had to go down to South Carolina. Really? You yeah, would have gone down there? Really? <laughs> you can barely climb the stairs at home, but how are you going to climb up on that pole? Pole. Well, well, you got a little did experience. Did you see this picture talking about? Oh. I know. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Paula. I mean, come on Oh, now. my gosh. Okay, it's from a 2011 Halloween segment that Paula Dean did on her cooking show. Now, I'm, look, I feel bad for her because, you know, she's, been dragged through this for the past two years and she's apologized over and over again and there's a time where she let it go you know I believe in second yeah. chances yeah. Um, and then the, the picture where they dressed up that was even before that was three years ago you know the problem really is is that Ricky Ricardo is like the lightest Cuban on the whole <laughs> planet like somebody in your costume department should have just just been fired because <laughs> the makeup was wrong the hair Wrong. He could have just, you know, said Lucy, and then we would have. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I would love to talk to her. So, um, open invitation, Paula. <laughs> Yes. Um, because I really do uh, believe in second chances. Paula's picture is one that she wished we didn't see, but Justin Bieber wanted us to see it all. Oh, jeez. Really? <laughs> Woo! Oh, and we got to see John Legend's bootay as well. Hey. He's got nice shoulders. I didn't know you. What? Know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my thing about the booty. I mean, I know there's a huge... It's called booty, yeah. Um, it's... That's a scientific word for it. <laughs> Bootay. It's really, you know, for me, I'm not the booty person because that's... That's not what you said to me last night. <laughs> Why are you lying on national TV? <laughs> you said you... No, you... Never mind. Never mind. Just, I'm not even going to say anything, man. You, go ahead, go ahead. What do, what do you think about Justin Bieber's Look, I booty? have no idea why everybody's making such a big deal out of his booty. I mean... You're uh, from Germany. You, you guys are naked all the time. You have hair. Yes. The women can grow hair down there. And what are you talking about? You guys are... <laughs> <laughs> you this, guys was are... The, this was the... This was like the caveman's times. Oh, okay. We have changed. We have progressed as people. We shave. Yeah. We use deodorant. The, these are all stereotypes. Stere stereotypes. Don't okay. don't believe what you say. So why don't why don't the booty pictures bother you? Because I mean, Kim Kardashian's booty is on the press in the press every day, and nobody makes a big deal out of it anymore. So now because it's Justin Bieber, it's a big deal, or or, 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 or John Lennon. John Lennon. Did I say John Lennon? It's not John Lennon. No, sorry, it's not John. Lennon. And guess who's not going to correct you today? Guess who's not going to be bossy pants and tell you? the right word. I believe it when I see it in action. Okay. 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 We, we still have a few it. minutes left. Yeah. I want to ask the audience something. Can you still have love without sex? Yes. yes. Whoa, that's ah. way too many S's. Are you serious? Well, if you ask an NFL player, Russell Wilson, he'll say yes as well. Russell is currently dating, yes, pop star Ciara. And in a recent interview, he talked about their abstinence. I like her. If you can really love somebody without that, then you can really love somebody. Look at you. So I need, I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all now. I need y'all to pray for us. I know y'all seen it on the screen now. I love this. I love this. I like them both. They're great. Reason because they really talk about their spirituality a lot and how they want to give their relationship to God, and God knows that only God can get you through a marriage, right? That's true. Yes, it's true. Amen to that. No matter what religion you are, I believe that you have to give this 
love that you find over to a higher power because life is going to throw you curveballs every single day, especially if you're in this lifelong type commitment. I applaud you both. And I don't blame people who want to test drive the car, though. <laughs> hey. We got some husbands. There are some head. people who want to test drive the vehicle before committing to the vehicle. And then there's some people who just buy it straight from the floor. <laughs> After three years, actress Kelly Rutherford was finally reunited with her children. Yes! Yeah. This about time. After her ex won full custody and then moved them to France. What was, what was all the convoluted details about this? They were married. They got a divorce. They got a divorce. He had some, some visa issues, and he was basically um, deported S back sent to back. France. But then why didn't the kids stay with mom? That's a great question. So they figured that if he couldn't come see the kids because of his visa issues, the kids just needed to go with him, and mommy could go back and forth. Yeah, that I, was I that's think she ridiculous. had bad lawyers, but um, it, it's a it's a very very serious issue because um, I mean imagine you have three kids, you are you are giving full given full custody, and yet the kids are taken away from you for. Three years? Three years. I can't even imagine. One of them was five, and now he's eight. I just, I'm really happy that things are working oh, out and that they enjoy their very, summer together. Very happy yeah. because um, I got a green card myself. <laughs> I don't have a American citizenship yet, oh. and I only have a green card, so. Um, you married me for the green card? I want to. <laughs> oh, we, my God. We talked about this. No, we didn't talk about we, talk, we, talk about this. You we said, make sure that I can stay in the country and then maybe we, we will fall in love after a while. Maybe? I don't even know what he's doing right now. This like, okay, are you oh ready for God. some more good news? <laughs> Seventh day entertainer is up. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Seventh day entertainer, and I'm about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. Watch me, watch me, watch me. us laugh for almost 20 years. Yep, but now he's hosting a brand new competition show, blending craft with comedy. Take a look. 10 minutes, barbers. T, T, B. What's up with your technique? My Ooh. style is uh, oh, doing wow. portraits, right? Wow. Trying to be I, creative I, with I, it. Fight Rizzo. Where you at at this point of the game? I'm pretty much through. Halfway through your career. <laughs> Please welcome our friend Cedric the Entertainer. Nice. Give me this. That's nice. Give me one more. I think I posted it. There you go. I think I posted it somewhere. Hey, everybody. She just looked like, like somebody that you grew up with. <laughs> How you doing, Miss? Hey, Miss Ruby. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Good to see you, man. I know. Good. Wow. Good, man. I'm so... Tired of people mixing us up, Boris, man. I know, I get it all the time. <laughs> what can you do? Every time they was no. like, oh, I know. where's Nicole? I yeah. almost like, kissed you I was in like, the oh, green you room. think I'm yeah. Boris. What happened? I'm, what happened? I'm sorry, no, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Look, well, I want to talk to you about. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you see, I didn't say anything about that part. That, that, one, I, that one I'll try to let happen. We'll see talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> see, the last time we, um, Ooh, we saw nice. each other was on the golf course. <laughs> remember that? Vodka. When oh, oh yeah, on oh, the golf course, and uh, something terrible, terrible uh, happened. Something terrible happened on the I golf course. That I can't get out of my mind, and I thought that we should finally share it with the world because it's been weighing heavily on my soul. So maybe you want to share it with them because if you I, don't, I will. Well, I, well, I, have no I don't recall the story at all, so I don't oh, know you, exactly. Maybe I'll, I'll help you out a little about. bit. We were playing uh, golf together. Yeah. And um, we came to, I think it was hole number four, and you had a pitching wedge. Yeah. So you were trying to chip on the green, yeah. and the ball got away from you a little bit. Yeah. And zoomed at 300 miles an hour across the green, and, and there was a, a whole flock of birds and sitting I, there. And, and, I, and, and one I, of them got I, hit straight I in the face. Randy. Yes. <laughs> it's very sad. I, I killed Randy. Now, the bird. birds are, you know, they're like a 
team spirit here. Yes. Did, 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 oh, did, did you all know, the birds calm down? So it was, it was bad because I was kind of new in my golf game at the time. And I sliced it. It went over. It hit the little duck. It's a, a mallet, right? He walked like four steps and he just like couldn't <laughs> take it anymore. Oh, my God. It was terrible. So this is like hole four. We go around. Mm -hmm. We come around like on hole seven. It's got to be like 30 mallets out there like, yo. Like, yo. Which one of y'all killed Rich? <laughs> I swear to God, they were stalking us. Oh, they right. were stalking wait, wait, wait. us. This yeah. one is scared of birds. I'm scared. That's actually why I killed the bird. <laughs> because Boris was screaming at You're the top of his of lungs. Too, no, no. Why, why you I'm not like me Boris. out there like that. Boris was like, uh, guys, guys, all those birds are over there. There was a lot and of them. There was at least was like, Boris, of them. let me see what I can do. And I was like, I know you're telling and I just wanted to scare them off. Hands, so look, look, to all, to all bird fans out yes. there, lovers of birds, we love birds. Yes. I'm just very scared of them. And yes. what happened was a, an honest accident, and he wanted to apologize in front of the world. And I, and I think for closure, yes, it would be appropriate if you if you could give that bird a short eulogy. Can, can yes, we, I can think we, so. Can we? I think right here at Steve. Yeah. Please, to all birds that live on golf courses, <laughs> know that it is mm. it is. Uh, <laughs> My utmost soft <laughs> that I had to take one of your very own out. Mm. It was an honest mistake. Yes, Lord. I am a high handicap golf. Very high, very Meaning high. Meaning that I'm not that good. No, oh, no, he's not. And when I sliced the ball, right? I sliced the bird. Well, yes, he did. Trying to get a slice. Yes. Oh. I wanted a wing. That's all right. Uh, we grow up eating chicken and <laughs> duck. I just want to say I'm sorry and mm. that, forgive me. Quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack. Thank you. Don't you be better already? Don't you be better? You've been See? keeping it very, very busy uh, in the process of filming Barbershop 3. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Which I got. Malcolm Lee directed, so you oh, know he wow. did us with Roscoe Malcolm. Jenkins, so he was fun. That's like that. right. Yeah, so but it was fun. Bar barbershop three, we're back in the barbershop. And you got Cedric's fun. barbershop battle. So I'm all, I'm all about the barbershop these days. I, what, what yeah. is that, what is that and you're steering. Wait a minute, he's steering in the hit series Soul Man. And Soul, Soul Man, that's right. Yes. Soul Man on TV Land, a lot of fun there. Yeah, we love all uh, the barbershop movies, but tell us about Cedric's barber battle. You know, uh, by doing the barbershop movies, I'm just really associated with the barbershop. Every time I go somewhere, all the barbers come up and they want to, you know, tell me about their skill sets. And it's a very competitive world. The world of barbering, yes. nobody can cut like the next person. Mm -hmm. Your barber will be like, oh, man, who, who did your boy Chris Head on the show yesterday? Well, you I don't know? have a barber myself. <laughs> because, uh, you do? You shave? Well, yeah. You do your legs? Mean, I'm follically challenged. But right here, though, bit, right? So. You don't get the lineup with the. You could recommend someone. We could talk later about the lineup a little bit if you want. You don't like my lineup? No, you. It's beautiful. She, it's I know when she lies. She lies. No, no, no. It's a but shadow thing. In, I like it. We talked about this earlier. He's in daddy mode. Okay. He's not in. I remember you let it go like one time. You went really crazy. It was just kind of like nappy. And <laughs> Duck Dynasty. It That's was, what yeah. Happened. And yes. I was like, Duck really? Dynasty. It was real <laughs> Anthony Hamilton ish. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> Like R and B ish. R and B. I like that. Well, as an entertainer, I was like bored. Really? <laughs> you've been through ups and downs like we all have. Yes. So how do you deal with the haters and the, and the negative comments on social media mm -hmm. or? Oh, uh, if you say anything negative about me, it is block delete. Oh. Love it. Block yeah. delete. There you go. Block delete. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's just philosophy. I have, I'm so sensitive. You can't even uh, like. Man, that suit looks stupid. Block delete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm totally, I'm You're totally totally like, I just you. give nothing. Like, <laughs> like, say, Steve, funnier than you block delete. And you know, like, <laughs> even though he's my friend, I block you and I delete you. I want to give you that opportunity today. I want to give you the opportunity to answer those haters and those mean and insulting tweets nice. today. Yes. In a game oh. that we call Singing Insult Tweets. Oh, yes. yes. Are we going to sing them? Well, Nicole is going to sing an insult to you that we got from, from Twitter. Uh -oh. Ooh, yeah. There you go. And you 
are going to answer those tweets, those insults, like Reverend Boyce the Voice Valentine would. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's play singing insult tweets. Cedric, the entertainer. Whoa. You've been wearing the same outfit since Kings of Comedy. <laughs> You don't know. I can sing. Can yes, I sing? I'm singing church style. Please. You don't know that I be getting new suits all the time. <laughs> I wore a vest on Kings of Comedy. This got sleeves to it. <laughs> Block delete. <laughs> Block delete. <laughs> okay, next one. Here, okay, you take this one. Okay. <clears throat> Boris is going to sing. Watch me. Ready? Watch me, okay. watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, do It is just me, always Cedric the Entertainer. A stupid stage name. But hey, it seems to be working for him. <laughs> that was actually pretty nice, bro. It was very one. journey. I mean, it was like, <laughs> oh, like I thought it was gonna start say, raining on you right now. You like Germany? Was, no, you know, like no, journey, journey or no, something. Journey. Like it was Hall big. Oaks. Yeah, very Hall and Oates. I thought you just like you were gonna be in a video like walking. What's your response? Can you get to give this guy to who called you like yeah. stupid stage name? You say my name is stupid, huh? It said the entertaining I'll get loose, son. Uh oh. Uh, that was it. All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was fun. Stick around. When we return, we're going to put seven skills to the test. I like your Adidas. Adidas. There you go. You learned. Yeah. Amazing. We're back with the hilariously talented Cedric the Entertainer. Yes. <laughs> Earlier, uh, Cedric and Boris discussed their love of golf. Cedric, does your wife Lorna love golf too? No, she does not. I mean, okay. she, she, you know, because she Because you've been knows. married, I'm sorry, you've been married for 17 years. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> really? What, yeah. What's the secret? The, the secret to oh. being married that long mm -hmm. is really just kind of knowing when to talk and, uh... <laughs> Just making the money See? and yeah. just giving it to her and yeah. staying out the way. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we, we're really good. We're good friends. We laugh a lot. We talk a lot. Really cool, easy relationship. That's like, I just found a really good mate, and I, I feel really blessed for that. Like, Aww. she's good, yeah. yeah. See, I yeah. haven't figured out when to talk yet. That's why she keeps interrupting me. Yeah. See, so, you no, guys we have can... some serious interruption issues. I know it. You have some serious interruption <laughs> issues. Well, speaking of golf, <laughs> I thought it would be only fitting to have you and Boris compete in a game of putt or dare. <laughs> yes. Putt or dare, huh? Okay. Challenge. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, here are the rules. You are going to putt one at a time. Whoever gets the most balls in the hole in 30 seconds wins, and the loser will succumb to a terrible dare. Are you guys ready to play? Yes. Putt or dare? Or dare. So, go, go, go. go ahead. Begin at the sound of the horn. Ready, set, putt. You better focus. Oh. Oh, it's clicking. Don't kill the bird. <laughs> oh, you're far away. Oh, what? You only have 30 you seconds gotta make in. One. You gotta make at least one. That's terrible. That's terrible. Ah! Something going on right there, guys. <laughs> What's going right. on right here? All right. <laughs> so basically, I have to make one. <laughs> That's it. Clear it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the same glue stuck that you have right there. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here, baby. Let's show them how the Kojos do this. Come on. Boris got some, it's some hair gel stuck here from the <laughs> Back when Boris had a bunch of hair. I'm ready. I've seen the album covers. All right, covers. baby, you will begin at the sound of the horn. You have 30 seconds. Ready, set, 
putt. You can get him, you can get him, shoot. This way, boys. Not even close. We got to go again. He's our guest. The winner is Cedric. He got yes. the yes. 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 And my darling, my darling Boris, since you are so terrified of birds, I thought of something really good to help you get over your fear. What? Here comes your dare. Come on out, man. Oh, no, 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 yes. no. Oh, he's what are we going to do Okay, here we go. Wait a second. Oh, you he's will cute. wear this bird on your arm. For 15 seconds. <laughs> Just breathe. I'm breathing. Don't hurt me, please. Just breathe. Y'all remember Beretta? Let's start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, I'm sorry. 10, 9, 8. I killed one of your cousins. <laughs> Look, it's not all bad, boys. I brought you some hats from my, uh, my hat line. Who Thank said? Y'all can just have the cool golf caps. Thank you. Look at that. Look cool, man. Look at that. Who said? Dot com. Check it out. Make sure you guys catch Cedric's Barber Battle on the CW Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Central. Red carpets and police celebrity fashions with her mom, the legendary Joan Rivers. Yes. She's also the author of the New York Times best-selling book, The Book of Joan: Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. Please welcome Melissa Rivers. these selfies because well. I'm very clumsy <laughs> so you if I can't see where I'm going it's a little <laughs> well thank you daunting. for being here thank you thank that you for having good. me thank you look uh, there's your book yes the book of Joan and there's a partial quote here by your mother that I'd like to read she says when I die and yes Melissa that day will come and yes Melissa everything's in your name <laughs> I want my funeral to be a big showbiz affair with lights, cameras, action. I want craft services, I want paparazzi, and I want publicists <laughs> making a scene. I want it to be Hollywood <clears throat> all the way. Yes. <clears throat> we, we, all, we all miss the great Joan Rivers. And, and I wanted to ask you, what, what do you miss about her most? And how did writing this book help you emotionally? You know, it, you miss everything. I miss my mom, I miss my business partner, I miss my best friend. I miss the person I argue with. You yeah. know, no one can piss me off as fast. <laughs> and trust me, my 14-year-old son tries. <laughs> but he's, you know, he's got some years to go. Uh, writing the book really, um, I wrote a funny book. People thought it was gonna be a big memoir. It's, it's not, they called me and said, do you wanna write a memoir? I said, no. Mm. They said, how about an advice book? And I went, really, have you looked at our family? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I shouldn't necessarily be giving anyone advice on anything. And then I thought, you know, I'm a, I would write a book that would make my mother laugh. So I have a wonderful writing partner who's been my writing partner for years. Mm -hmm. And we sat down and we started telling stories. And it just got funnier and funnier and funnier. And it gave me an opportunity to laugh every single day. And like to if you heal. Look, and to heal. But like if you look at the dedication, yeah. Yeah. it really sets up the tone of the book, mm -hmm. which is for my mother, whom I think about every day. And for my father, who as of this last past, who as of this past September is no longer resting in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the fashion police. Yes, you were behind the scenes as executive producer yes. for many years, and now, yes, now you're the host. Yes. So uh, this is this is a big 
shoes to fill, you know? So. I'm not trying to fill my mom's shoes. Yes. First of all, what everyone forgets is I used to fill in all the time when our other yes. hosts would be on vacation. So mm -hmm. it's not like I haven't sat there before. It, it is different. No, but are you going to let people have it? You know, when you're making $20 million a picture and people are giving you dress after dress to wear for free and we didn't like one of the free dresses, the 14 free dresses you wore that week and you're upset that we went, oh, I don't like it? Really? Really? <laughs> really? You, were, really? you weren't at home sewing the curtains and going, Mama, is this okay? Can you tell they were curtains? No. no. I mean, come on. Well, you brought some of our yes. fashion mishaps yes. uh, I haven't the past even seen years. Me. I yes. am, I am yes. terrified let's, okay, to find let's see. out. Let's see the first one. Yes. Oh. oh. How in the world did you get let this her do picture? It. Let, her, let, her, let, her just, um, let her Let her just... My first thought was... It's very Steven Seagal. <laughs> like, like, with the look of the way you're even looking, like, oh. yes, sensei. Oh. You know? And it's like, it's a little, I mean. That's what he calls his 1030. He always, it's like, Nick, you're always doing too much on the red carpet. You, you smile this way. It, you, you should only have two looks. 12 o'clock and 1030. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got to explain Aaron, it. You know what I give to that? A big, giant eye roll. Like, really? <laughs> oh, please. So okay. we have another one? Do, okay. Do we just this let us have it. Okay. Oh. Um, well. Hard for me to... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a really hard time thinking that this is the same person. Like, oh, wow. you... You know what? She was pregnant. I was, she was pregnant. pregnant. I mean, yeah. your boobs are enormous <laughs> in that. I would have preferred, let's just say, perhaps a slim pant. A slim pant, yes. There was a lot going on between the boobs and the pattern <laughs> and the pants and the boobs. Well, we have it here. Do you have a one of us as a couple yes, together? Yes, we do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now this is interesting. Ooh. Because, Boris, in the one with the sweater, I'm going to say you win. What am I doing? But in the one, that lace dress is Who phenomenal. Who Wait, no. The lace dress, mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. The you. velvet suit with the trim and I think the we shirt. Have it here. They oh yeah. yeah. She looks like Lara Croft. She looks amazing. Um, you're rocking and, and a lot of velvet my... and satin. You're a little bit like Hugh Hefner's bedroom in that, <laughs> in that suit. Wow. Did you see my hairline? Yeah. And, the, and, and my hairline was still there. Yeah. yeah. I like all the sweater oh, thing. No. I like that. Thank but, you, Melissa. But, that you was know. so oh embarrassing. I love it. That was terrible. Terrible. Be sure to watch the new season of Fashion Police on E. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Up next, from man buns to the return of the fanny pack, we're tackling some of the latest trends. We'll be right back. <laughs> Since we've been talking about fashion with Melissa Rivers, we thought we would continue the conversation and take a look at some of the latest fashion and beauty trends for men and women and judge, judge them. them. Boris and I don't like judging people alone, so we've asked some of our most judgmental friends <laughs> to help us judge and decide if we should love it or lose it. Please welcome comedians Heather McDonald and David A. Arnold. Yay! Why don't we get started? Look. We'll show you photos of current trends, and as soon as you spot the image, you'll scream at the top of your lungs if people should love it or lose it. Okay. All right, okay? got it. This game is about speed and loud, judgmental screaming. Okay. <laughs> I can forget. do that. Okay? First image, please. Okay. Okay. The love <laughs> it. Wait. The, oh, sorry. the fanny pack is back. <laughs> love it or lose it? Love, love it. it. Love it. I love it. I love that love fanny it. pack. I love it. Can I get it? I love it. I love it. I love it. love it, okay? Because I kind of have, like, sort of a long, flat ass. And if you wear it on your back, it, like, cuts it in half. So back in the day when it was in, I would, like, wear that around walking, and I looked pretty good from behind. So bring that that's, a good, that's a good point. I like that. Okay. Not everyone has the perfect butt. Yes. You know? I agree. I love it. But this is why I love it. Have you seen how big cell phones are becoming? Yes. You can't carry, they like baby laptops now. Yes. <laughs> you can't carry right, your, your regular pocket. phone yeah. in your pocket. You That's need true. one of these. For yes. the embarrassment yeah. of that, to buy in a new phone, I, I sport a fanny okay, pack. Good. Good. So good. We're going to love it. We're going to love it. All right, love it. Now, 
The next trend is spreading all across America. I love it when people express themselves, but is this taking it too far? Your thoughts on the saggy skinny jeans, mm -hmm. not you, our guests, because okay. he's going to let... <laughs> <laughs> from the dark ages. This is fashionable. I feel like I don't get this jean. It's like, I want the world to know the circumference of my calf, but not the size of my penis. Like, what's happening here? What is the point of that? There's no point to those pants. You can't do no man stuff in skinny jeans. Okay. Okay, if your girl drop her keys, how are you going to help her pick her keys up <laughs> when you're doing this? <laughs> What should call these? The Skaggies. We should call them a mistake. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. All right. All right, next. Yes. Is this picture of you, babe? Oh, wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. I didn't do this. I, I, okay. My call, husband loves this outfit. Right. I love it. <laughs> love it. I love it. Every married woman in this room knows about. Something happens between hot boyfriend and married with kids. Socks in the sandals. The mistake he made was he he, he should have worn black socks instead. And, <laughs> and shorts. Love it or lose it. Helen. Yeah, I definitely I love lose it. it unless you're at the home and it's going to keep you from slipping down the stairs. And I think it's a wise choice. How about not for a young man? If you man. got that little black nail on your pinky toe, then you need to wear that. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Dave? I need you to keep them on your feet. What are you trying to say, Anthony? <laughs> So, Leave my feet alone. Last but not least, image, please. Sunburn <laughs> art. Uh uh. I've never seen that before. It's a new I love trend it. that's crossing the nation. Right. That's First of all, it's decorative tan lines. Yeah. This uh, is I'm totally the gonna hobby do of the unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ain't got no money to get no real tattoo. <laughs> and you got nine hours to lay in the sun and let a shamrock burn into your chest. Good, I, I hope that shamrock is good luck when you go into the skin dermatologist. You hear me? <laughs> there is a good thing to it. Because I always say, you know, if you're going to get a tattoo, do not get anyone's name who's still alive. Someone dead isn't going to piss you off. But someone currently that, you know, a couple years down the line. So if you have a summer fling, you could do his name. And then and when he... Sunburn. Yeah, and then when it's over, then you just get a loofah and goodbye. You know? <laughs> Start fresh. Start so, fresh with some fresh we skin. It. We love it or lose it. It's super creative. Yeah. I kind of love it. Come All on. the black people saying lose it because they know it ain't going to show up. <laughs> trends, um, but I think we have to give a round of applause for our guest host, Judge Ed. Anthony Arnold. Anthony, thank you, Anthony. For being our honorary fashion users. Be sure to catch Heather's podcast, Juicy Scoop. And if you're in L.A., go see Heather at the Hollywood Improv, July 16th. And currently, on the same page when it comes to raising our kids, but when it comes to raising our dog, Max, well, I would just say our pages are in different books. Yeah, you don't have a book, okay? Yeah, you don't, you don't I have do a, have a book. No, you don't have a book. You don't believe in training a dog. That's the truth. You don't believe I don't believe in scaring a dog. So I'm here not scaring to help. a dog. I, I'm, I'm wow. the alpha dog. I, I got to make sure that he knows that I'm the alpha dog. Do you see what I'm up against? <laughs> they're, they're clapping for him. Okay. Here to help us settle the score is veterinarian Dr. Courtney Campbell. <laughs> Nice to see you. Thanks. Now, Dr. Courtney, um, yes. Boris takes his German dog training a bit too far okay. for me. I mean, he barks German orders at the dog. I mean, you know, Is that heel. the only way to speak German is to bark it? I don't know. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. There are not too many bilingual dogs out there. There so you go. go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. See, okay. we all love our pets, as you can see, but sometimes they can come between our relationships. Now, we have a couple here who has an issue with their pet. They're newlyweds, and their dog is literally coming between them and their love life. Take a look.
I'm going to try and come around this way and see if I can get next to mom. We'll see if I Please welcome Laura, Michael, and little Romeo, little evil Romeo. <laughs> Guys, how long have you been married, and how long has little Romeo here been uh, getting in between you guys? Well, we got married, and uh, January 1st, we eloped, went to Vegas. And, oh, and, uh, congratulations. Uh, and then soon after that, Romeo turned into Cujo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Otherwise, he's, he's the sweetest, well, sweetest dog ever. Courtney, what kind of advice can you give Michael and Laura? First, I thought Romeo was a lover's name. It doesn't sound too much like a lover. Until I want to be a lover. Okay, and all right. he turns into a fighter. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, he's yeah. Romeo. He turns into an animal when you're trying to get animal. Okay. Uh -huh. You still have all your finger. <laughs> you still have all your fingertips and okay. Well, yeah. listen. Here's a little bit of a spoiler alert. This is kind of normal in that dogs tend to be really possessive of the things that they love. It makes sense. Treats, food, um, the warm spot on the bed, time with mom. So what he's doing is something we call resource guarding. So what you need to do is just turn yourself into a resource, a valuable resource. There you go. There you go. Big T-bone steak. Well, That's kind it. of. <laughs> kind of. And so what I tell people to do is pat them on the head. They say pat, but it's an acronym. It stands for posture. Okay, association and treatment. So your posture with Romeo yeah. should be down, right? And he comes right to you. Mm. Never chase Romeo if he doesn't want to be chased. Never hug him or snuggle him if he doesn't want to be snuggled. And then association. I want him to associate you as a valuable resource. When you come in the house, take him for walks. He gets tug of war. He plays chase. It's a chase. treat, maybe? It's mm. just a treat, absolutely. And then the last? Or lock him in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can't, we can't do that. No? We can't do that. Yell at him in another language. I will language. say the last one is treatment. This is so important. When it's time for you to go to bed, Romeo gets his own bed. But if, bedtime is fun. In the crate with the bed, there's toys in there. There's treats in there. You get, scratch him on the head. Time is fun. But honestly, it makes sense to protect mom. He just wants to be right around her. He wants to guard that resource. You guys are still newlyweds. You need some... Yeah. Alone time. Oh, right. Yeah. Are you going to take Dr. Courtney's advice? We are going to yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Romeo. Thank you, Laura. Bye, Thank Romeo. you, Michael. Bye, Romeo. Thank you, Dr. Courtney. For more of Dr. Courtney's pet tips, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. <laughs>